we need to find the derivative of the inverse of f of x when x is equal to 17. Now, we are going to show that f of 1 is equal to 17, therefore 1 17 belongs to the curve. Now when x is equal to 1, f of 1 is equal to 17 times 1 cubed, therefore f of 1 is equal to 17. Now think about it. If 117 is on the curve, the its inverse will be 17 1. We swipe x for y. Which means the inverse of f of 17 is equal to 1. Now, in general, the inverse of f of x prime, the derivative of the inverse of f of x, is equal to 1 over f prime of the inverse of f of x which means the derivative of the inverse of 17 is equal to 1 over the derivative of f of the inverse of f of 17, which is 1. Now we are going to search for the derivative of f of x. Let's just write the function f of x is equal to 17x cubed. The derivative of f of x is equal to 17 times 3x squared. Therefore, the derivative of f of x is equal to 3 times 17, which is 51, times x squared. And when x is equal to 1, the derivative of f of x is equal to 51 times 1 squared, which is just 51. So f prime of 1 is equal to 51. Therefore, the derivative of the inverse of f of 17, according to the formula, will be equal to 1 over 51. If you think this method was too involved, here's another way to solve the problem. What do they want? They want the derivative of the inverse of f of x at x equal to 17. Now we know that the point 117 belong to the curve, the original function, because when x is equal to 1, f of 1 is 17. Let's just graph this. You could just use your graphing calculator also. So here's what happened. From 0, the curve, which is a cube, cubic curve, will go to 117. Now, if it does, then the inverse will be 171. We swipe x for y. And the inverse is the reflection of this graph over the line y equal to x. Here we go. A quick sketch will be 
this one with 17 and 1. Now, f of x is equal to 17x cubed. f prime of x, we have to calculate the derivative, will be 17 times 3x squared, which is 51x squared. The slope of the original function at x equal to 1, f prime of x is equal to 51. Because we swipe x for y, the slope of the inverse will be, well, will be just the inverse of the slope of the original function at that point. Therefore, the slope of the inverse of f of 17. Notice that if we have m1 as the original slope, m2 will be 1 over m1, the slope of the inverse. Therefore, it'll be 1 over 51, and we're done.